Hey, what's up, guys? Raybar checking in. Uh, as you see, <laughs> portfolio is down uh, a ton right now, um, down to about you know eleven thousand five hundred and forty. You know, the Dow dropped about four hundred points today, uh, headed for the worst day since March. You know, I think all this is kind of going with the um, auto strikes. You know, with Ford, General Motors, and um, you know the parent company for Dodge, Chrysler, Ram. Uh, Options aren't doing too bad right now, but you know, like I said, the overall general market is down, and uh, we'll go down here and see, like the S and P five hundred, even you know, down about what four percent in a week. Same thing. Um, I think you know, like I said, with all the strikes going on, the potential government shutdown as they continue to play politics and dangle their little partisan carrots. I think that you know, kind of fear and uncertainty is creeping in. We're seeing a, a pullback. And for me personally, I like to take the pullback opportunity to uh, buy a couple more shares here and there. I recently rolled over um, my 401k from my previous employer over to my traditional IRA, and I've been buying um, daily buys, uh, about a couple thousand dollars a day to average myself down. I've been buying an S&P 500 index, a uh, total stock market index, uh, and then two dividend growth ETFs, and then one or two individual stocks, those being Microsoft, Realty Income, and uh, JP Morgan Chase. Um, my portfolio here, you know, I'm still adding um, and doing my daily buys. If you guys are following the portfolio, I added a couple other ones uh, where I just bought like two or three dollars just to kind of follow the stocks. Um, you know, that's pretty much starts right around uh, Conagra brands here. So, Conagra brands. Um, Apple Realty, um, Triton International, 3M, General Parts Company, Corning, uh, Essential Utilities, Glad and Gain, which are kind of two monthly dividend payers, Walmart, Texas Instruments, Procter & Gamble, Kimberly Clark, and um, McCormick. It's kind of that spice company. I'm probably going to add in um, these. I actually just recently signed an offer to accept a new job. So I will have um, even more income coming in. So I'm going to start probably ramping up the public portfolio where I'm going to start adding um, even more consistently than I have been and probably up my buys. So I'll continue with my daily buys of about, you know, a dollar here, a dollar there on every stock that I own. Um, but I'll start, you know, piling into positions that I have kind of interest into, which honestly, I need to start making videos going over each stock. Maybe what I'll do is, is like once a week, I'll pick a stock like Meta, for example, and go into why I'm buying it. And again, I'm mimicking for the most part, my public or my private portfolio here, my private portfolio is substantially larger than this public one. But again, the whole purpose of this YouTube page is to kind of show you guys how I build a portfolio from scratch how, um, what I'm buying, why I'm buying and show a couple options strategies from here and there. If you guys haven't already go check out my options playlist. I think it's a great, uh, way to kind of look at, um, additional methods to boost your income, um, by selling options. I'm a huge proponent or a huge, I guess, uh, proponent. Is that the right word? Maybe not, but pushing selling options, buying options can be a little bit risky. Um, but you know, selling is always key here. I'm selling covered calls on plug power and, uh, SoFi. uh, these two stocks, I, if you guys have been following, I've been selling covered calls and cash geared puts running the real wheel strategy on both. I have another video about that. If you guys want to go check it out. But basically, you know, I'm making steady streams of income as I've been jobless over the last, you know, month or two. Um, basically, what I've been doing is selling uh, a ton of cash secured puts and covered calls in my main portfolio, averaging about $750 to $1,100 a week in options premiums. Um, and that's basically how I've been sustaining my lifestyle up until this point in time. Um, but yeah, so when you first start out, you might be doing smaller options like these right here, where you're only making about $6 per contract. But in the long run, whenever you start to slowly build your income, you can start to generate pretty sizable premiums from your options trades like I've been doing. Um, and mind you, I've been investing in the stock market since about 2015, 2016. So, you know, a little under a decade, uh, I've been in the market. And, you know, obviously, I kind of joined in right when things were still kind of booming to the top. But just remember, guys, time in the market always beats timing the market. When you have pullbacks like this with some uncertainty surrounding the government shutdown, uh, interest rates staying high, um, Fed still battling inflation, you know, 
in 20 years from now, the purchases that you make today will definitely be a, um, a blessing in your life. Um, and, and maybe at that point, it's going to be retirement. You know, Microsoft is one of the stocks that I'm a huge pusher for. If you guys work in an office like I do, um, Microsoft is basically entrenched in the corporate environment. Um, they're number two in cloud, going to be booming, uh, I think, past Amazon, AWS in the near future, maybe five to six years from now. Um, but yeah, either way, guys, I want to make a quick video because I've been I've been slacking lately. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm pumping out shorts like I've been doing, but my long form videos have been suffering. So I'm I want to stick to a schedule. I want to continue to post for you guys. If you're hit, if you're still here in this part of the video, comment dog because it's man's best friend. I love my dog. She's the best dog in the world. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys have a wonderful start to the week. Love you guys. Thank you guys and see you on Friday.